Hello my fellow Cancers, happy belated birthday season. I hope you guys had the best birthdays ever. Mine was super chill but super simple and awesome. So I hope you guys had a fabulous time. Do yourself a favor and trust your intuition. You clicked on this video for a reason so there is definitely a message in here for you. Let's get right to it. Welcome to your July new moon in Leo personal reading. This is covering July 28th through July 31st. And new moon energy is all about new, fresh perspectives, something new incoming, while Leo energy is all about the heart space energy, heart chakra energy. So this is really about, collectively, it could be a new person coming in, but really getting in touch with our heart space energy, our passions, our desires. Let's just prepay that this is a space for clarity, for clear answers, for signs, synchronicities, everything Cancers need to see. I'm hearing shuffle three times cut once. So let's find out what Cancer needs to see for this new moon in Leo energy. What does Cancer need to see? What's the energy for Cancer? For the new moon in Leo. What's the energy for Cancer? Moon in Capricorn, which is actually my moon sign. 22, which makes me think of this year, accomplishment. Scale mountains to gain a sense of achievement. So we are definitely going places with this new moon, Cancer. This is definitely the next level, going higher. But you know, mountains can't be scaled or accomplished or achieved without first making the decision. So this is about making the decision to move forward. Um, and I, I feel like whatever we set our mind to, especially this year, I feel like this new moon is putting into trajectory our goals for this year, like really putting our ass in gear, Cancer. I, I feel like that energy is coming on really strong. Like we're finally like it's like we've been thinking about it, kind of gearing towards it, inching towards it. But now we're finally like going full throttle with it after this new moon in Leo. So I like to see that, Cancer. Capricorns. Also, they work very hard. You know, it's the sign of the father. So there's something about ambition, really hard work, determination with that sign. I feel like there's something about action mode. Maybe getting in our divine masculine. Let's get more for Cancer, for the new moon in Leo. So we have the magician coming out. I love to see that. Yes. Give me more for Cancer. The magician... The Knight of Wands, Magician, by the way, is ruled by Mercury, so that's Virgo and Gemini energy. And then the Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, more for Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. A lot of Capricorn energy here. So let's take a look, Cancer, the Magician. This is you can be, do, or have anything you want. Ask and it is yours. Wish and it is my command, right? Like there's something about a genie here, a mystical, magical, whatever you want, it's yours. Whatever you think about, whatever you focus on, it's yours, Cancer. So I feel like this is guiding us to think about, like mind what's for you, right? Like mind your vibration because what you focus on, even energetically, if you're in a happy mood, more happier things are gonna come to you. Mind your emotions. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. So this is about following your pursuits, your desires, your dreams going forward. You can see the horse is almost about to step off the cliff. So there is a reminder about, you know, <laughs> looking before, you know, not missing the forest for the trees. Definitely looking ahead, kind of planning, plotting, scheming before you go forward in this journey. I feel like there's something in here about, yes, you can have whatever you want, but make sure that you have a practical plan to get there. Because without it, right, you end up as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, who has nothing. She's lost it all. Because that's right, she's a master of house and home. She's got it all together. So in reverse, it's like losing it because you missed the, the trees for the forest, right? It's like plan it, plot it, scheme it, write it down in a way that where it's practical and you can make it happen, Cancer. That's definitely a message for me. <laughs> Let's get more for Cancer, for the new moon in Leo. And this is really a time to shine, right? Because Leo is ruled by the sun. So this is all about stepping out. I'm hearing take the first one. Goose, mother goose, duck, duck, goose. Tag in your it. I feel like there is something about going after what you want, but I'm, I'm really getting a mother goose energy here. 
nurture what's yours, protect what's yours, even if you want something, whether it's a million dollars, a new job, a person in your life, there's something in here about nurturing the energy or the consciousness of that which you want because you already have that energy in you, right? If you want to have a partner or even a million dollars, it really is the vibration of wanting to be happy more than anything or free more than any, more than anything. So nurture that consciousness is what I'm getting. Nurture the vibration of what you want. All right, they're telling me to shuffle. Give me another card for Cancer. Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to see at this time? Because, you know, we got to nurture something. We got to make the decision to go after it. And we got to focus our energy on something really good. I'm hearing take all three. So I will take all three, Cancer. And we, they're all blue cards, which is interesting. It kind of matches the blue. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. Your voice is your power. And I love that we have the heart space here that goes with the new moon and Leo energy. Which is wounds, remedy, magical medicine, sacred hearts, another day. Okay, very interesting. 29, by the way, that's 36, 29, drawing down the moon. Divine Feminine, we're ruled by the moon, Cancer. Divine Feminine, Source, Channel, Stillness. So for me, this is definitely telling me to get more on these moon readings. 33, wow, we have a lot of three energy and two energy. If you start noticing 222 or 333, do know you are on the right path, Cancer. Opening circle, protection, ritual, lesson, simplicity. So I do feel like something's opening up for us, even with that matching hand and the open hand right here. It's like something's opening up for us, Cancer. I feel like we're being healed. If I feel like we already thought we were healed, but we're, we're going more into healing the more we accomplish things, the more we put our focus on what we love, on what we actually want to shine in our life, the more we do that, the more we're actually healing, which I feel like we thought we were healed, but you ain't seen nothing yet is what I'm hearing. Okay, so the flamingo just came out. Let's get more charms for Cancer's energy for the new moon in Leo. So the flamingo sometimes reminds me of walking on eggshells. They have very delicate legs, but they also very much show out. They're very flamboyant with their pink feathers. So I feel like this is a time to shine, Cancer. And also, like I said, right, like don't miss the forest for the trees. Be mindful of where you're stepping. Plot it out, write it out in a way where you can step and not fall on your heels, right? So the stiletto can actually stand upright. There's something about minding where you step. There's a lot about like tallness, standing tall. I'm getting that with the giraffe. Giraffes literally see from a higher perspective too, which makes sense with it coming out on top of like healing your heart energy. Because when you're healing your heart, you're looking at everything from a higher perspective. Because there's so much unfolding cancer. There's so much going on behind the scenes that we can't see. The lotus flower is all about unfolding, blossoming, things coming to fruition. And I love that it's coming out near the sacred heart. It's like as we heal ourselves, as we move forward, there's so much more to love. The best is yet to come, cancer. So let's get a message for cancer through the astrodice. What's the final message for the new moon in Leo? <gasps> Oh my gosh. So we have the sun in Gemini and Gemini is dual sided energy, right? Duality, balanced energy, masculine, feminine, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, balancing out all sides of ourselves. And then fifth house is ruled by Leo, which is also, you know, that's the heart chakra space too. So this is a lot about this moon energy. This moon is really encouraging us to make the decision to go forward and really plot it out. Like, don't just decide like, all right, I'm going to do it. Like, let's head out. Like, it's like, okay, let's map it out. Let's plot it out. There's something you need to like see in the grand scheme of things where if you write it out, as opposed to just going on this mission cancer, it's going to work out in your favor a lot more. So I feel like there's something about balance here, but with the sun coming out, there's a lot. We're, we're shining this season. We're shining this moon season, this Leo season cancer. I love to see this. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I will definitely catch you in another Moon Phase reading very soon.